did Moses sin? All humans are sinners. I want yes or no answer. Yes. Right. No, major sin. According to Islam, sin is sin. No, according to Islam, there is major and minor sin. You can't put your hand on the Quran and say it has um, yeah, if you want democratic. To... democratic. No. You can't do that. No, according you cannot to Islam, do that on the Quran. Okay, according to Islam, there is a major Why? sin and there is minor sin. There is a Not minor sin. God. Not with no, according to Islam. Uh, I'm so telling Islamic law. So you following man. God or not? I'm following Allah, which is God, Allah. Why? All right. Because so what I'm saying, Allah or God, whoever. Yes. Is there a minor sin or major sin? There is major sin and minor sin. So now let me give you an example. Did he say that? Let me give you yes. Yeah, there is. There is. So let me give you an example. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet peace be upon him, told us. There are major sins. Say again. How could you be saying peace upon a dead man? That's the Islamic. In Islam, we say that. Whenever we mention his name, we say that. Even in the Bible, it says, may be blessed. It says, blessed is upon. Blessed be upon on Jesus. We never say, we never say bless anything that is dead. Never, no, never, that's your, that's never, uh, another, never, that's another, never, another, that that's another way. That is common sense. No, that's it another way. No, in your, no, in your, sense. no, it's not common sense. It is common sense. Let me tell you. How could if you it's common sense, if it's common sense, oh, if you want common sense, can God come from a veg and from a, and a private part of women? Yes, he can. can. So logic, logic, common sense. Oh. How? Tell me. Oh. Do you know what book, your book says? It says Job, Job, chapter 25, verse 4. Uh -huh. It says, how can a man born of a woman, how can a man be clean who born from a woman? So you're telling me... Do you know what that means? Yes. So it says a man who's born from a woman can never be clean. That means you're telling me God isn't clean and he came from a private part. Mm. See, logic. But, I'm no, using your logic was, and I'm using your book. No, I'm using your logic. No, I'm using your logic and he your Bible. Any and any so you can, right, do you believe God is unclean? No. Let's so if you don't believe God is unclean, okay. then you believe Jesus is God and he's unclean. All right, let's carry on. See, let's logic now. On. If you want no, logic, I can give you. Moses, right? Okay. Adam, did Adam sin? Yes or no? I don't want no minor sin or major sin. Do you want? Sin. Okay. Do you sin? want according to your book, Bible? Did Adam sin? According to your book, all the prophets are sinners, including Jesus. Bible. Did Adam sin? Yes. yes or no? Right. According to your book, all prophets are sinners, including prophet Jesus. Did Adam sin? Yes, yes same as Jesus, Adam. according to your book. Does Adam have power over death? Yes or no? I just want yes or no answers. No one has I power. I want... I'm answering. No. I just no, want... Wait. No, no, I'm answering. I just want... I'm answering. I just want a mono answer. Okay. Yes or no? No, no one... Tell to. No, no tell to. same as Jesus. Yes or no? one no. has power over death. Yes or no? No. All right, no, right. Who again is a prophet? Huh? Who again is a prophet? Or messenger? Jesus. No, let's go down before Jesus. Adam... Abraham. Moses, Abraham. Did Abraham sin? Yes or no? According to Bible, no. I can give you a verse. According to your book. Did Adam sin? Abraham never sinned. According to your book. Adam was committed adultery. But you asked me, Ad, now Adam you no before adultery. no before that is I was, sin. no before I was talking. That is sin. Are you getting for someone? Is that sin? No. Are you adultery getting for sin? No. Adam. But we now you was asking sin. Abraham. Yes, Abraham he was asking Abraham. So Abraham sin. Abraham never sin according to your book. Shall I give you a verse? It says Genesis chapter 15 verse 6. It says or oh, chapter 20 verse 12. I'm not sure which which one is it. What's it says it says, it says God found Abraham. It says Abraham was one of the righteous person. So you tell me, how can a righteous person be a sinner? I said, did he sin? No, according to your book, no. He committed adultery. Is that a sin? Yes. No, according no? to your book, it's not a sin. What? 
Because adultery in your book, no, no, in the Old Testament, in the Bible, it permits adultery. It's adultery. Yeah, in the Bible, permits adultery. According to your book, it's not sin. My book doesn't say Yes, it says it's, it's not sin. No. Shall I give you many verses? I give you the Ten Commandments. No, God I can right give you. Fingers. I can give you many I verses. Give you the ten then there's contradiction then. If you tell me adultery is a sin, and prophets of the Bible, God of the Bible approved the prophets to commit adultery. Therefore, adultery is not sin. Otherwise, God could not permit the prophets to commit adultery. You know what? The Bible tells you, if you sin, you must confess your sin and turn away, and then you are But we have to you. define what sin is. Sin is Before one. we talk about what... The first uh, thing I talked about yes. was the Ten Commandments. Uh -huh. And all the sins yeah. are written in the Ten Commandments. Yeah. And adultery is a sin. And you know when um, when um, God said, you know, in the in, uh, Matthew it said, um, when a man yeah. uh, wants to leave his wife, yeah. only, I think I, I would put, yeah. No, I don't want to. Okay. The, the only sin yeah. that a wife could marry again is when the husband commits a dodge. So it's a big thing for God. No. Commit a dodge. I can give you many verses. In the Bible, God no. permits adultery. No, he didn't permit adultery. I can give you. God did He not. asked also David to sleep with a girl. He asked many other prophets to sleep with other girls. I know. Was it God women. who said that? Yes. Was it God who I said that? I can give you many verses. Was it God who said yes, that? Yes, I can give you many verses. Was also, during the, battle, during the battle, God is asking to keep slaves and females who were kept, uh, captured in the battle. Uh -huh. God of the Bible. If I give you like example, Deuteronomy no. chapter 21, verse 10 to 14. Many things that in the Bible you are counting as contradiction. No, no. It's not. You it's either have contradiction. So what is your point? Okay. Okay, now misunderstanding. Okay. Where are we going down to it? Okay. You, you, For the sake of the it. argument, what's the Abraham point of you asking? Sin. According to your book, no. Well, Abraham sinned. According to the Ten Commandments, Abraham sinned. Right? According to your book, no. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Because Abraham God in the Bible says Abraham is was Abraham, Abraham was one of the righteous. Abraham a righteous person. Did a righteous Abraham person. lie about when he went to, um, to it, the, even Jesus lied? Is lying a sin? All right, we come in, we come into that one more. You say when he went there, he told a lie. He committed adultery. Yeah. Right. Okay. He did. He did sin. Right. Who's the other prophet? Prophet Jesus sin as well. If you say lying is a sin, Jesus lied in the Bible. Can I give you many verses? Jesus, Do you believe? Out. Okay, shall I give you one verse? No. Shall I give you one verse? No, hold on. No, I, I, I give you many verse. verses. I don't want a verse. No, I'm giving you verses. No, no, no. Not a single Before verse. Him. Many verses. You can't tell me we Abraham is a sad. sinner. Same book says Jesus is a sinner. You can't tell me Jesus, Jesus is not a sinner. Well, because if your Quran says Jesus is a sinless. But what? Which book do you believe Jesus first? Jesus is the sinless one. Which book do you believe? In the, the Bible, Quran, in the, the Quran, in the Jesus Quran. Jesus is the sinless one. Okay, let me tell the you. Quran said now, Jesus in the Bible, Jesus is a sinner. All right, tell me where is a sinner. A sinner? Do you know why do you get baptized? What? Do you know why you get baptized? For me? Yeah. Yes. Do you know the reason you get yes, I know. baptism? Yes. What is the reason? You know? I know the reason. What is the reason you All get right, baptism? I need, I don't, can I finish this and then we go to that? No, because you want to tell me. According to your book, Jesus is not a sinner, but according to your book, Jesus is a sinner. Jesus Let me give you one thing. Do you know one. in Islam, angels are sinless? So are the angels God? Even let's say for the sake of argument, let's say according to you, Jesus is, a, is sinless. According to us, Islam, in Islam, angels are according sinless. To who? According to us, Islam. Well, you know, there are lots of other different religions, and they you, say all lots of things. No, yes? do you know, according to Islam, angels are sinless. Are the they Quran, God? Quran, I could never put my hand on the Quran and say this. It's democratic. It In the Bible, there's no democratic. In Quran, we stay under the control of Allah. We are the servants. But you believe you have free will, you can do whatever you want. No. Yes, you believe that. No. Yes. I, I go back to the beginning. The okay, now. Of God wrote the Ten okay. Commandments. Do you believe you follow Jesus? Yes. Okay, can you tell me who do you worship and who did Jesus worship? Prove it that you follow Jesus. All right. 
I'll answer all those questions out. No, just no, I want to this one. No, I want to finish this. I finish want to what? Finish, finish what? The prophets going down. They were all sinners. Jesus okay. was the only sinless one. According to you, but not according to the Bible. All right, you will show me where Jesus was a Yeah, I can give you many verses. Well, let me finish you. Okay. I believe Jesus was a sinless one. You believe How that? could he For the be sake a of sinner argument. and save someone and save the world? How could he? How could he be a sinner and save the world? Jesus never saved. He I can give you in the Bible. The no. No he way Jesus said. You no. and me. Jesus and said, I came. G all prophets came to save mankind. Moses. And who is mankind? Moses. And who is Moses, mankind? Moses. People. Uh, all prophets. So just say it a different All prophets. Mankind all prophets. Or people. Same thing. No. All prophets. Human beings. Okay. Human beings. Okay. Let me tell you one thing. <laughs> All prophets, God sent them to deliver his message. So through delivering that message, through the prophets, God is saving mankind. But it's not. Do you know Mary even? All those messages were Do you know who saved Jesus? Do you know who saved Jesus? Do you know who saved Jesus in the Bible? Do you know who saved Jesus? Who saved Jesus? Can no, God no, be saved? No, no, no. I don't want to go Jesus there. himself was saved by God. So you finish. tell me how can God be saved by another God? I want to finish. See? Jesus is not savior. I want to finish. Adam sin. He didn't have no power over death. Noah Jesus sin. has no power over death. Right, let me finish. Let you know finish. Exodus chapter 15 verse 18. Can I finish? And okay. Then you'll quote all okay. Adam sinned, he had no power over death. And Abraham sinned, he had no power over death. Uh -huh. Moses sinned, he had no power over death. Uh -huh. Jesus sinned, no, but he had power over death. Jesus doesn't have power. Muhammad sinned, he had no power According over death. According to the letter, this Allah letter. did not sin, so both of them. No, no, no. And they have no <laughs> According to you. Sin. According on, to this on. letter, but so not according means, to the Bible. So that means uh -huh. that they are gods. Because the only two of them had overpower of sin and all the rest sinned. Can you tell me who saved God? Now you finished this. I finished. Who saved Jesus? No, but, but did you understand this? No, this one is just what you wrote. But I'm giving yeah, you. I, I quote it because it's a bad, because you know why I have to quote it. Uh -huh. Because as I said, you see what you're doing me here now. Yes. I want to talk about one subject, uh -huh. but you want to talk about two. No, three I'm talking subjects. same subject. This is what I have. This is what I have here all the time for the past uh -huh. 20 years uh -huh. or so. So that's why I wrote it down to tell you Adam sin, Noah sin. So Abraham shall I give you now where Jesus sin, sin now? And none of them. Shall I give you where Jesus sin now? All right. Yes. Tell me. Okay. Do you believe lying is a sin? Yes. Okay. Do you know Jesus? Do you believe poison is medicine? Do you believe poison is medicine? Some poison. Some medicine. Yes. No, poison. A deadly poison. Do you believe can be medicine? And it won't harm you. Do you believe that? I don't. Well, it, it, if you tell me what a poison is, and then no, I. No, it's snake. Deadly poison from snake. Do you believe it's a medicine? Do you believe a poison is a medicine? Oh yes, 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 I understand what you mean. Because sometimes they said that if you get the um, thing and some a snake get bite, I mean bite you, you could. Is that what you mean? No, I'm saying drinking poison uh -huh. is it medicine? I, I don't know. If you tell me what the but, poison uh, but is. But do you believe your logic now? Let's come to your logic. You want your logic? Okay. Do you believe medicine and poison is medicine? No. No. So now, you agreed with me, Jesus is a liar, and you agreed with me, lying is a sin. Because okay, Jesus, me, okay, I'll give you now the verse. In Mark, mm -hmm. chapter 16, uh -huh. verse 17 uh -huh. and 18, mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you drink, he said, this sign will accompany those who believe in my name. They will take a deadly poison, and they will drink. It won't harm them. You see, you don't understand. No, wait, wait, wait. It you won't harm them. The text. No, you wait, let me finish. Text. Let me finish. It won't harm them. And they will place their hands on sick people and they get better. So now you're telling me two lies here. Someone who drinks poison 
it won't harm him. Additionally, the second thing, by drinking poison, it won't harm you. And then, for placing your hands on a sick people, they be get wet well. And now you agreed with me, poison, drinking poison, it's not medicine, and you said lying is a sin, therefore Jesus is a sinner. I can give you another verse. Shall I give you another verse? Let me answer that one. Let okay. Me that one. Okay. Now, Jesus is saying, uh -huh. right? Now, of course, remember, he came to train care of the disciples, yes? Uh -huh. And he said, after I give you the power. What power? Power to, 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 um, to preach or to teach. That is what they're going to do. No, so, it doesn't say no, that. No, yes. That's the snake. Do you know how many people Christians. Listen, 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 okay. Let me finish. Okay. Can we, um, do you know where that text is taken from? I know the text. I know the text, but I don't know where it's taken from. I know but it's Mark. No, it it's not. all Bible. I not in all uh, different uh, versions of the Bible. Let me explain that. Right? Uh -huh. Jesus has 12 disciples. Uh -huh. And he said, I give you authority uh -huh. to go out and they were to go out and preach. That's why I come here. Because he gave me Now authority. you're talking about authority no, no, no. about preaching. Where is I'm talking about drinking poison. I'm preaching I'm and drinking poison is not the same. Okay. okay. So he gave them power to go out and preach. And he said, yeah. when you go, uh -huh. I will give you power over the, you know, a snake. That is what the text is. No way, Jesus said, oh, I'll yes. give you a power of a snake. You told me yes, about preaching. Because though. when they go out, go off in the verse. Because when they go out, when they go out, drinking they, poison is not medicine. Jesus said, This sign will accompany those who believe in my name. Is everyone that's right. believe? Do you believe in Jesus' name? Yes. yes. If I bring now poison, will you drink? No. Then that be, you believe Jesus is a liar then? Because, yeah, Why are you not listen, drinking listen, the poison then? No, listen, I might. Because what Jesus is saying... You that, might drink. Wait, hold on. And you believe medicine hold and on, poison is on, not medicine. And you might drink. And you said no. Hold on. Uh -huh. I am telling you, Jesus said, when you go out, uh -huh. you might do all this things to that it will not happen. That is what he's trying to teach So them. now I, I want one qu that answer. That is what he's trying Can to you teach, teach them. I want one answer, please. Politely, yeah? All right. Okay. Okay. So now I want you to tell me, you said you follow Jesus, yes? Yes, I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus as well. My proof, let me, let, let me give you my point, okay, my evidence. Yes. Tell me how you follow Jesus. We Muslims, sorry for touching, we Muslims believe Jesus and all prophets of the Bible in Old Testament, they worshiped God the Father. You believe God is the Father, but we don't believe God is the Father. According to you, is the Father. So I'm saying for, um, for in, in terms of your belief. So all prophets, including Jesus, all of them worshiped God the Father. So my question to you, if you follow Jesus, who do you worship? And who did Jesus worship? Who did Jesus worship, first of all, tell me? Did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? Did Jesus worship himself, the Son? Or did Jesus worship God the Father? You tell me. Who did Jesus worship? And then, tell me, who do you worship? Okay. Who do you worship? First, let's start with that one. No, I showed you this, right? No, okay. No, no, hold on. Okay. I showed you this. Okay. That these two people, these two holy entities, had power over death. So that made Can God them... die? Okay. Well, hold on. Did Allah die? Can I finish? Okay, now. Did Allah die? Can I finish? Did Allah die? Can I finish? Okay. So what I'm saying to you, these two people, yeah. um, not, they're not just ordinary people, but you know, they're, they're holy people, right? Yeah. They never sin. But you're they not answering power. my question. They have power over no. death. No, Allah so has power, but Jesus has no power. Then, Shall I give you many verses in the Bible? So then, if these two people, these two holy people, I don't want to say people, they're not just ordinary people. No, they're gods. No, they're not gods. gods. They're gods. Because listen, no. if they have power over, over death, that means they're Can God. you answer my question? That means they're God. Can you answer my question? Right, let me answer your question. Who do you worship? I just want that answer. I worship I, the God I, I just want an answer. I worship the Okay, God. so basically you worship Jesus, God the Father, yes. the Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit, yes? yes? yes. Okay, now you said you follow but Jesus. Then you have to ask, okay, do you, okay, what wait. Is worship? Okay, what wait. Is worship? Okay, wait. Let me come to the point. 
Now I'm asking, who did, who did Jesus worship? Did Jesus worship the Son, God, God the Head, God the Father, the Son, or, and the Holy Spirit? Or he worshiped God the Father alone? You tell me. Who did Jesus worship? Who did he worship? Well, he didn't um, depend on what you call worship. No, you're not getting the point. You said you worship God the Head, yes? Which is God the Father, the yes. Son, yes. and the Holy Spirit. Yes. So now I'm asking, I want you to prove it to me yes. that you are the follower of Jesus yes. by yes. answering my questions. So now I'm asking, who did Jesus worship? Did Jesus worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? He didn't worship anyone. Shall I give you a verse in the Bible? He did not worship anyone. Shall I give you a verse in the it Bible? Depends on what you call worship. Shall I show you in the Bible where Jesus said, we worship the Father, God the Father? Shall I show you a verse? Remember? remember? Shall I give you a verse from the Bible? Let me, let me, you don't know Jesus' purpose. Jesus what worshiped. Jesus purpose? You know Jesus worshiped. Do you know in the Why did Jesus go through all his problems? I will come to that point. Do you know Jesus worshipped according to the Bible? Do you know that? Shall I give you the verse? What is the worship according to the Bible? Whatever you believe worship is. I'm saying, you said you worship God the Father, the know, Son, and the Holy I Spirit. Know I'm but now, you know that? now I'm telling you, Jesus in the Bible, mm -hmm. chapter 4, uh, the Gospel of John, mm -hmm. chapter 4, verse 22 to 23, Jesus said, we worship. Do you know, he said he was talking about who? His disciples and Jesus himself, that they all worship God the Father. He said, we worship. He included himself and his disciples that they all worship God the Father. And he, let, he said, chapter and verse 23, Jesus said, the true worshipers will worship God the Father. So now my question to you, yes. are you a true worshiper? No, because Jesus said the true worshipers will worship God the Father. He never said the true worshipers will worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So therefore, I follow Jesus because my evidence is I only worship one God who is just, according to you, you believe God is three persons, but the God of Jesus in the Bible is only one person. Your God is three persons. So therefore, three in you, one. yeah, so the G God of Jesus is not three in one, it's just one. Because he said, we worship what we know. And the true worshippers will worship God the Father. He never said the true worshippers will worship the Son, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. So therefore, because you're not a follower of Jesus. When uh, okay, now I'm asking now. Okay. Do, do you believe Jesus died, yes? On the cross? Yes. In what city did Jesus die? Did he die in Jerusalem or outside Jerusalem? Say that again. Did Jesus die outside Jerusalem or in the city of Jerusalem? Outside Jerusalem. Yes. Thank you. Again, Jesus lied. Do you know what he said? Yes. The Gospel of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter 13, uh -huh. verse 33. Uh -huh. Jesus said, a prophet shall not die outside Jerusalem. And Jesus died where? outside Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. According to the Bible, yes. New Testament and Old Testament, forget about Jesus being God. According to the Bible, Jesus disqualified to be a prophet, disqualified to be God, because Jesus said, I'm not good. Do not call, no one is good. Why do you call me good for, no one is good except God is good. He denied to be good. And now, Jesus, do you know what it says in the book of Ezekiel? You know what it says? Chapter 14, verse 9, it says, God of the Bible is speaking, said, if a prophet is given false message, a false message, that prophet was deceived by me. The Lord, the God, the God of the Bible is saying, if a prophet is given a false message, God of the Bible said, that prophet, I deceived him, and I sh shall remove him from among the Israelites. Okay. So Jesus was given a false message, message by what saying, false message? the false message is, he said a prophet shall not die outside Jerusalem. 
and according to you and according to Christians, Jesus died outside Jerusalem. Therefore, Jesus was deceived by God and he was given a false message by God. And again, do you know what it says in, in, in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22? It says, if a prophet predicts about the future and his prediction shall not come true, God of the Bible said, that prophet has spoken without my authority. Okay. Therefore, Jesus lied about the poison. He lied about and no, see, about you, dying you, outside. You take what I said. He lied about you everything, many things. So I therefore, said. Jesus you disqualified to be a prophet. He was Bible. deceived by God. Do you know you what else he said, Jesus? Do you know what else Jesus said? Do you know what Jesus else Jesus said? said? During the, before the crucifixion, do you know what Jesus said? What he said? In John, the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 32, do you know what Jesus said to his disciples? He said, there will be a time shall come. There will be a time. All of you will run away from me. But I'm not going to be alone. My father will be with me. And guess what? During the crucifixion, according to you, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, and uh, chapter 15, John is chapter 15, chapter 16, verse 32, yeah? This one is chapter six, uh, Mark chapter 15, verse 34. Do you know what Mark and Jesus said? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And the other that verse he said what? He and the other verse Jesus said what? No, the other, no, the other verse Jesus said what? There will be a time you will run away from me, but my God, the Father, will be with me. And he has said, Jesus, my God, why have you forsaken me? That means God himself forsake, has forsaken Jesus. And you know what the Bible says? That's why we Muslims deny the New Testament. The New Testament believes Jesus is the cast one, believes Jesus is an ungodly one. If I give you one verse, the book of Psalm, chapter 138, Mm -hmm. Verse, no, it's not chapter 130, sorry. Chapter 37, verse 28, do you know what it says? God of the Bible is speaking, said, for the love, for God loves the justice. He will not abandon his godly ones. Do you agree with me with that? So, godly ones, According to you, you believe Jesus is godly one. Agree? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm enjoying it. Yeah. According to you, Jesus is godly one. He's the godly one. And God said in the, in the book of Psalm, chapter 37, verse 28, for God loves justice, loves justice. He will not forsake his godly ones. He will protect them. But the children of the wicked, God will destroy them. So now my question to you here, according to you, is Jesus. Let me let me answer. No, it's not Jesus. Who is the Do you agree? God, Jesus is godly one. Do you agree with me? Yeah. She. No. What you say? No, he's protecting the godly one. He don't have to protect Jesus. He don't. Jesus was protected by God, according to your book. To get to a point. Yeah, I'm getting my point. So my point is. We Muslims believe Jesus is godly one. He was blessed, top prophet, messenger. He was chosen. He was given miracles. He performed many miracles. He was given miracles. Yes, by God. That's he what Jesus said. I was own. given. I was given means Jesus had no miracles, had no power without God. He was given. Do you know what means given? If you don't have money now, and I give you money, and you say I was given the money, that means you never had money in the beginning. So Jesus had no power, even in the Bible, in the book of Exodus. Say, I have the power to lay down my life. So now, so now I'm saying, so now I'm saying, if Jesus is godly one, and G God say, said in the Bible, the, uh, Psalm chapter 37, verse 28, God of the Bible said he will save the godly ones and he will protect them. And the children of the wicked one, God will destroy them. So now my question to you, yes. if Jesus is godly one, why God, this verse in Mark, the gospel of Mark, chapter, chapter 15, chapter 15, verse 34, it's Jesus was forsaken by God. So now this verse, it tells us Jesus is, was ungodly one. 
So we Muslims rejected. We don't believe Jesus is ungodly one. Okay. We believe Jesus is godly one. Are you going to give me chance? To so answer? your book says. Are Jesus. you going to give yes. me answer? Yes. Chance? Yes. That's what I'm asking. Okay. You ask so many questions. Yeah. You? But let's go back to that one with Mark and the serpent. You don't understand the Bible, and you don't. You know all what I've said. Yeah. It just went over your head. No, I understand you what you say. Okay. You have not paid attention. Can you attention. repeat for him, please? You have not paid the pension. Yeah. I'm tired of the tongue. Sorry, no problem. <laughs> you have not mentioned. <laughs> no, what, what he's saying that, you know, um, he tried to prove it. I am saying that all these prophets, including him, they have sinned. Yes? Jesus is the only one and Allah who never sinned. And they have power, only these two have power over death. So that makes them God. That's what I I'm just saying. answered. But okay. No, but don't okay. go away. Meditate on that. Think about that. No, I answered that question. You didn't answer. I'm not 